This video will document the rebuilding and rescaping of the left side of my tank. I removed this arch rock that was being overrun by an encrusted Montipora and AOI Zoes, and I was tired of managing them. So I removed all the Acropora from the rock and I sold the rock to a local reefer. In the meantime, I was also not happy with some of the rock and coral placement, so I decided it was a good opportunity to redo some things. Here's what I said in the last video about this rock. This dragon fruit Monty is absolutely amazing, but it's becoming a pest. Uh, same with these AOIzos. They're actually growing into each other, and then these Acropora here are getting caught in the crossfire. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't know if I'm gonna kill it off because both of the, the Zo and the Monty are really nice looking. So maybe I will just isolate that rock here and move some of this stuff, but then I'll have to make another structure here to support uh, this table rock. Now it's time to rescape half of my tank. You can see here the arch rock is gone. The donut shaped rock with a big BC flamethrower table acro is sitting on the bottom of the tank and the nice red robin colony is now visible. This red robin colony was hidden in the back for so long that I essentially forgot about it and just recently noticed how big it has grown and how colorful it is. So now I will have to rebuild an arch using smaller rocks that I'm cooking in my sump. Anyway, I'm gonna take this whole rock base and move it back. You can see back here when I put it in, I wanted this space for flow across the back. So yeah, this is too big of a gap here. So I'm gonna move this back about halfway It'll still allow flow to kind of come through here. How I'm gonna do it is I have more of this stack type rock with little feet on it. And I'm going to start kind of in the front and make a new arch by just stacking these with the little feet. So there's like a space in between every shelf. Just kind of scale it back, back up to about there so I can put this donut shaped rock back up. And then I'll figure out where to put this acro. This red robin is on a big rock, so that might be hard to incorporate. If I can't figure it out, I'm gonna get my saw out and kind of chop that into a smaller piece that would be more manageable to, to glue down. I'm not gonna film this because it's gonna be a pain in the ass and I need to be quick moving stuff around and I don't want to fiddle with the camera. So I will see you in a bit once I am done. Tank's a little deconstructed right now. Uh, but I did move this rock back. I think it looks like I moved it a lot more in person, but I think that's gonna work good. I rotated it a little bit like this, so this big green Slimer colony will still have some distance from the back and the glass here, and then not go up into the power head. And then I need to build up that arch here. Since I moved that back about three or four inches, that's really gonna open up a lot of space right here. Um, and then I believe I should be able to take this stag rock and kind of push it back from the glass on this side and then skew it this way a little bit. This is gonna give me a little more room to have it kind of more open and not look so crammed. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out, but I'm also a little skeptical because I know when you rescape an established reef, sometimes things don't fit together the way they do in your head. So I will check back in with you and hopefully this works out. Now I did just finish up, you know, after spending like three hours in the tank, gluing, cutting, etc. So the tank is cloudy. The acros are snotty. Uh, I got this filter running to kind of clear it up, uh, but I will get some more video once it clears up and uh, maybe I find some better spots for things on the ground here. This terra red colony that's kind of browned out, I did have it here. Uh, I'm gonna see it here for now, see how it does. I've swapped these two. Since I moved that whole skate back, it gives me a lot more room. Kind of liking how the Staghorn Island is not so crammed up in the corner in the tank. Uh, it looks a little nicer. It actually looks a little more crowded, this tank, because everything's not stacked up so high. Everything down here is all tentative, but I'm really happy with the scape. Uh, it took me a lot longer than I thought because nothing wanted to line up where I wanted it, so I had to do a lot of wedging and gluing and epoxy putty and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully, It'll hold. 
I gave it the shake test and it seemed pretty solid. The next day after rescaping the left side of my tank and everything looks good, the water's cleared up quite a bit. There's still a little bit of funk in the water, but uh, that's because I just took out the power filter. So it probably kicked out a little bit of particulate. Anyway, the new Rockscape looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it. It gives me a lot more surface to put acros. I'm not too worried about stress from moving the coral. Most of the coral are in the exact same spot, if anything, like down a little bit. So they're gonna have about the same flow, a little bit of decrease in light, which will allow me to kind of slowly crank the lights up a little more with the exception of this tenuous here, but um, that thing should be able to take a lot more light than where it was. So here's the side shot. You can see I moved this whole rock back against the wall more. I haven't noticed any decrease in flow over here took about two sticks of coral putty. My skimmer is still dialed way back, but I'm about to do a water chain, so I'm not too worried about that. Hopefully it'll kick back in the high gear once I'm done with that. This Micromusa, this yellow tip, this Terra Red colony, I'm not really sure if that's the final spot for them. I kind of just put it in a spot where they'll be okay with the light and the flow until I figure out where I want to put them. What I might do is I might cut this back a little bit so it doesn't take up so much room. I may reset this. I was talking to my wife about it and she said, don't get rid of it. It's one of her favorites, the milk of stylo. So um, it's gotten pretty bushy, um, so much so that it started to uh, recede on the bottom a little bit. So it looks a little rough on the bottom, but overall the tank is just really, really doing well. I don't know what it was in the past month or so. It just kind of, found its groove and everything is really, really doing well. So I'm happy about that. Uh, one casualty from yesterday, I accidentally bumped the green digi and the entire colony snapped at the base. So I don't think the base grows thicker over time. So I think that whole piece was just connected by one tiny little branch. So it didn't take much to come off. So I'm just gonna let that do its thing right there and then I'll figure out how to kind of secure it. I really like it back in that little digi garden. There's a purple digi, forest fire, and then the green. So here's the left side. It looks a lot more full than it used to. So I think over the next couple of weeks, I'm probably gonna kind of figure out what I'm gonna do with some of these things on the bottom, whether I like them where they are or kind of shuffle some things around. I am happy that this stag island kind of got pushed back a little bit. It doesn't make it look so crowded in person. In the video, everything kind of looks flat, so it looks very crowded on the video, but in person, it looks good. <laughs> 